everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Hope you had a good weekend. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch staple back canvas. I've prepared it with a thin layer of um, white paint along the uh, edges and the corners to help the paint flow. And today I'm going to do an open cup traveling pour. It's one of my more favorite type pours to do. A little bit different though I'm going to be pouring a big puddle of the white paint and letting the cup just travel around normally I just put a little bit of white paint around the cup but today I'm going to um, put a pretty substantial puddle down to let the cup travel in so let's go over my paints the first one is folk art color shift pink flash my next is my white and it is Delta Cream Coat White. And what I did is I added maybe a tablespoon of the Vallejo Pearl Medium to it just to give it a little bit of shine. My next paint is, uh, is Navy Blue. My next paint is Liquitec Basics Phalo Green. And my next paint is Artist Loft Silver. And I, again, added uh, about a quarter size of the Deco Art Extreme Sheen Silver. So I combined those two. And my last paint is Artist Select Daxazine Purple. So, get the paints out of the way here. So we can get started. And like I said, the first thing I'll do is put down a puddle of white paint here. And I may just help it along a little bit. Because I'll probably try and start up in the in my upper left hand corner there. And I'm just going to use a little paper cup today. Consistency. Maybe a tiny, tiny mound and then disappears. And the pouring medium I use today is two parts Floetrol to one part paint and no silicone. I'm really not pouring these in any particular order. And I will add a little more white in there. And I periodically do have to help it, help it along on the canvas here.
Okay, now what I'm going to do is just start it in a different area. Oh, should have put down my white paint first. I will put a big area around it to get it going here. I haven't worked that much with color shift paints yet, so we'll just see what kind of result I get here. the paint a little more. to help it this way now. Put a little petal up here.
do a little bit of tipping here. And I think I'll do one more in the corner. Start with the silver. Okay, do a little more tipping here. Okay, and I might as well use my paints up. I'm going to put the balance of my paints in this area. And while I'm at it, I'm going to add some white to these areas down here to help the paint flow. And over here in this corner. Okay, that's all the paint. I'm going to tip it in this direction over here. Okay, that's very pretty. I think I'll torch now. So for those of you out there that think you have to have silicone to get cells, you don't. I just use Floetrol today, and I did add a squirt of the GAC 800 to all my paints. And as you can see, I do have cells. So you don't necessarily have to add the silicone unless you, you really, really want to have a lot, a lot of cells. Now I'm just going to do all my tipping.
going to take a look at it a minute. I'm going to add a little paint down here. And a little paint up here. Okay. Going to tip down in this corner a minute. And bring it back. Just tip a little bit down in this corner. I do like the, um, the negative space there, so I'm going to leave that. And I'm just going to tip a little bit down in this corner. And bring it back. And I'm just going to look at the composition of this painting now. I really, really like the, uh, the negative space that I left here. And I will torch again to see if I get anything else up. Okay, I'm going to check my corners, clean off the bottom here, check the sides.
just going to take another look at it here a minute. I really do like the composition of this painting. I think that negative space has added a lot to this, to, to the composition. Yep, I think I had something in there. I really don't see where I have to move it around anymore. So I think I will get you down for a close-up. You can let me know what you think. Okay, this is the upper left-hand corner. And we're coming on the lower left hand corner and this is the area that I I really like the purple the green the blue it's very pretty all together and we're going up the middle here this is interesting in here That's pretty in there also. Here's the upper right hand corner. And the lower right hand corner. I like the faded paint in here around the, the purple, that silver makes it look like faded it's very pretty so let me know what you think give me a thumbs up if you like this video make sure you share subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell choose all so you know the next time that i do post a new video and until next time Take care, everybody. Bye.